As you can see, cleanup efforts have um, started here at the airport. It would have started yesterday afternoon. Um, and both on the land side, which are the public areas, as well as the air side. Uh, well, the air side would have started this morning. Um, I'd like to particularly mm -hmm. highlight the work that our custodial team has been doing. They've been working throughout all yesterday and into um, this morning. Uh, first, removing the buildup that was here yesterday. Um, we had a couple of centimeters, maybe one to two centimeters that was um, built up and made quite the rounds. And uh, they've done, a, I think, a tremendous job in uh, removing that and having a, a constant uh, cleaning of the, of the surfaces. Obviously, we you know as the ash continues to fall, there will be more to be cleaned up, but they have done, a, I think, a wonderful job, especially in these public areas. And we expect that this effort will continue um, throughout um, the continuation of the ash fall on the, on the air side. Uh, really running away is a little bit more uh, a little bit more uh, complex a lot more um, surfaces and that is an effort right now being undertaken by our engineering team who've done also a good job from early this morning in connection with some uh, um, of our contractors to um, start the process of clearing uh, the air site that will take some time um, as it's a little bit more um, complex and then the rain might add some additional complexities there as well but suffice to say the effort is ongoing and we expect that uh, we will continue to be cleaning as well as making sure that um, there is no significant buildup so that um, the airport as soon as we know that there's an end to this ash fall and the air begins to clean up uh, clear up that um, things can hopefully start to go back to some sense of normalcy obviously we do not know when that is I think everybody knows that but we as the airport are taking all the steps to ensure that there's no buildup and that surfaces are continuously cleaned.